It's a gray winter day in Denver with a little bit of snow. This pomegranate that was sitting on my shelf in the kitchen inspired me this morning to just have some fun with the color red. So join me in my studio. So I figured out my inspiration, the pomegranate, and I walked around my studio and picked up everything that has the color red in it, from colored pencils to markers to a Sharpie, acrylic paint, uh, India ink, and then these spray inks, and even some red gouache. I'm all set up with plastic covering my surface. I've got a pile of paper towels nearby and a water bottle and a credit card because my goal is to fill this large piece of paper. I'm working on 11 by 14 mixed media paper. I just wanna fill it with red, let it bleed and move. No thought involved, just spontaneous. I'm gonna let it dry and cut it up. So the most fun is gonna be just getting a little bit of all of these red mediums onto the page. There's not a paintbrush in sight, no initial sketches or planning. I just put some blob of acrylic on and I'm swiping it onto my paper with a credit card so it goes on really thin. That means I don't have to wait for anything to dry. And I don't wanna cover the paper because I do want some white areas so everything else can show. And now I'm gonna throw on some of the marker. Come in with some of the Stabilo, which is a really fun water reactive crayon. And I think I'll spray a little bit. I love these spray inks. And the one thing when I, when I spray it, I can add some water and then pull some of that up. So you see how the first layer acts almost as a resist and I'm getting some of the variation of color and value that I wanted. I think I'll just leave that and my red Sharpie for a little, a little extra oomph. That's not seeming to do too much. How about the red Tombow? There we go. Okay, now for one of my favorites, which is the um, ink, my India ink. Ooh, look at that. And if I hit that with some water, it will bleed. That's the one thing I do know. So I get my water and I get those wonderful blooms and I can pull some of that up too. So my spray bottle of water is as much a painting tool as anything else. So I have to let some of that dry and then I'll come back and add another layer. So things are drying. I still have some puddles, but I'm gonna take my red uh, colored pencil that is water reactive, and I'm just gonna add some texture, just kind of doing some smaller lines, smaller marks, and I'm putting that in because I'm gonna cut this up and use this as collage paper. I do want some areas that are maybe smoother and other areas with this texture because I know that my pomegranate is got has a textured surface. And plus this is just a lot of fun. So this is my, what I call the caffeinated line near and on top of some of those smoother lines. And of course the whole thing looks like a giant mess right now, but let's keep some fingers crossed that I can cut it up and create a pomegranate. Yep, it's a gray day in Denver. So I'm letting my big red splash drawing dry and I've gotten a piece, just a scrap piece of drawing paper that's pretty thin and I've set the pomegranate down and now I'm gonna just sketch it 
so that I can divide this up into sections. So my sketch is basically a contour drawing, which just means it's wobbly and wibbly and not exact, which I don't care. And that's why I love the pomegranate. Look at this great shape. It's not perfectly round. Um, so I've just used a bunch of lines to indicate the, the shape of the pomegranate. And then I've come in to indicate the highlight area. It's clear that this area of the pomegranate is darker than the top. So I just indicated that shape, uh, this light area here, and of course that little um, part of the pomegranate that's gonna be nice and dark. And then I indicated some, some shadow. Now I'm gonna cut this, these sections out and lay them over the splash page. So I've cut out some of the shapes and since I knew that this top one needed to be light, I, I put it on the lighter part of this uh, splash page, set it down and outlined it in Sharpie. I've done that with a couple of the other shapes. I'm gonna continue to do that and then I'll cut them out. I've got all my shapes cut out, taped down, uh, having referred back to the photo I took of the drawing. And I absolutely am aware that the light areas and the dark areas are actually too close in value. So I'm gonna change that after I get things glued down. Now I'm just gonna take each piece one at a time and flip it over on an old catalog and run my glue clear over to the edges and I'm gonna glue this down onto a piece of watercolor paper because it's nice and stiff in the order or in the space that they need to, um, to be glued to put this puzzle together. And I'm either using my thumb or the actual glue stick with the cap on upside down to really press that down to make sure it's a good connection. Here is my abstracted pomegranate glued down. And of course the pieces aren't gonna to fit together perfectly. I've got all kinds of weird spaces going on here, but I think graphically that works. And anyway, do we aim for perfection? Of course not. Now I do wanna make some areas a little bit lighter and some darker just to show the value changes. And uh, so I'm just gonna take a white um, pencil here and come in and just add some marks just real quick, just to add a little bit of light area where I might want more of a contrast of dark and light. And what I like about this is that it still lets the texture of that first layer come through. So that adds a little bit of light. I can try that with another white pencil. You could see I was into walking around my studio this morning and just gathering things. That didn't really do a whole lot. And for the shadow, I just want to indicate that with a, a pencil and some quick lines going this way. And that too just adds an extra layer onto this piece. Perfect, ha, huh? no. Just fun, absolutely, on this gray Denver day, using the pomegranate as my inspiration and walking around my studio looking for some fun items and doing a red splash background. That's it. And here's the finished abstracted collage piece made from the red splash page. That was super fun to do this morning. It added a lot of color to this gray Denver morning. If you had fun with this and want some more free tips and tricks, Sign up for my adventure journaling newsletter at jcmammoth.net. And if you had fun with this video, please subscribe and like it below.